So basically, uh, I, I guess I, many of us has played through and all. Yeah. So basically, okay. you need to play them with just actually this is not the proper height. Not this. You still need to be good at the game. <laughs> <laughs> So that's what we are trying to do. Basically, uh, we just sort of <coughs> want it be cool if we can play games with Jesse. Kinect is there, Leap is there, but they all are in whole so uh, so It basically transmit an IR range. It's yeah. a modified IR range. So which, how, uh, how do I get it started? Oh yeah, just, uh, you just need to press it. It's on. Yeah, it's on. I, it's not in the it high to the yeah. Yeah, these are the two form factors basically. Okay. Uh, no, no, what I meant is if I want to, so for general use, if I want to click on something. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's what I am going to do. This is specifically for games. For games. It's okay, a drag it. function like okay. basically. The mouse will be clicked and it will perform like that. Okay. It, it is a drag function. This key, uh, this one, mother, you have to give both of them to control the PC and all. Okay. So um, when you are playing shooting games or like that, so this will be your pointer and this will be your clicker. Okay. Let me start a uh, shooting game. This is your uh, pointer mm. and this is your clicker. Okay, got it. Okay, so uh, you will point it through this. Uh, I think what, the range. what is the general range? The range is 15 feet. Mm. The 3 to 15 feet. Uh, okay, so the problem is this camera. Yeah. This camera uh, uh, you should hold it on your hand. Yeah. Better? Go, I think you can go farther. Sir, I yeah. hold it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Actually, these are three different types uh, right now. It oh, okay. will be more finished when the actual product will be there. Thank you. Great. Thank you. So we, uh, we are just, one of you, sorry, just to clarify, which one of you is in a, in an educational institution right now? Anybody uh, studying right now? Uh, yeah, all four of them are actually, Madhav, uh, Madhav, one of them is studying. They dropped out, the college. three people dropped out, we heard. Uh, yeah, three people <coughs> dropped out, they are on a sabbatical leave. Okay. So they can uh, rejoin. One is actually in the college. And I passed out from the SRC. When did you graduate? Uh, in 2014, last batch. So basically, what we are all are we all were game lovers. We all are game lovers. So uh, we thought, wouldn't it be cool if we can uh, play games with gesture? If we can, uh, with a flick of our hand, change the pictures? We can just uh, sitting here change the volume with our gestures because that's the most human way. You are using, uh, there are devices uh, for gesture control like uh, Mio is there and uh, Leap Motion is there but they uh, don't provide you that much comfort while using. So that's why we come up, came up with uh, this device and use it, uh, Nimble, uh, where we have two form factors, one is Nimble Touch and Nimble Diff with which you can basically control everything. So um, we use that to interact with uh, devices. So then again, uh, as I said, uh, we were essentially not trying to solve the problem. We just thought it would be cool if we can do things with gestures. So when you are using a laptop or you are using a mobile phone, you are playing games like a Pro Ninja, Virtual Cop or anything like first person shooting games where you need, uh, where uh, you use mouse and keyboards. But most uh, human way to play, almost fun way will be to play, use your hands, use your legs, and then play the games. Mm -hmm. So that's why we uh, made it. Like when you're playing at tennis, you shouldn't use mouse or anything. You just mm -hmm. should use your hands and all. Kinect and all are doing all that for a very long. But the thing is, uh, only kids enjoy it because it likes accuracy. You know, uh, from uh, from far distance, you can't play with it and all that. So that's why uh, we came up with number. So solution we are giving is we are uh, using uh, two uh, form types of rings. 
which is an inbuilt-touch and inbuilt air, through which you can uh, control most of the functionality which you do with mouse and keyboards. And uh, you can play games and all. We are also trying to have integrations with uh, smart company, uh, smart car companies, which, which one of all the car companies are now trying to get into uh, this gestures. One are trying to use gestures into their cars to integrate it into their systems and all. So we are trying to bring it to that. And also, they are. <laughs> <coughs> we are using it. Uh, we are uh, we have uh, three parts basically. One is software that is we have uh, refined. Uh, we have worked a lot on our software, which basically tries to map the environment, uh, reduce noise because noise is the, um, the noise is the reason because most of the devices don't work properly. So that's our USP. We are trying to reduce noise to the minimum level. So that's what we did with the software. And basically, our uh, sensor uh, receives, uh, or tracks the finger movements because you wear the uh, ring on your finger. So, uh, and finger moves most accurately. So, they see your finger movements and then tracks uh, your finger movements and gestures. Basically, <coughs> we uh, file uh, for patent. Mother, we have been granted provisional patent, and international filing has also been done. So. Uh, so what, is, what is the patent for? What, Sorry? What, what, what does the patent prevent others from doing? Uh, using, uh, we are using a um, very fine range of IR uh, recognition in our gesture control. Okay. So we have applied for its patent. We have been granted provisional patent. We are uh, in the process of applying in different countries for the patent. Okay. So basically, it's uh, there are lots of small, small things. We are using uh, the uh, very fine range, the very uh, the uh, so camera we are using. So basically, the use of IR in a particular way yeah. to achieve this particular <coughs> application. Oh, yeah. okay. IR is uh, emitted in a uh, very uh, fine range, which is detected by the camera, and basically you have to cancel out the noise. Noise is everywhere, like the lights and all and everything. So that you have to avoid, and that's where our software comes and do the task okay. for us. So uh, revenue sources, first of all, so, uh, we, are, we want to cater the gaming business. Uh, those, uh, those, uh, that is our focus sector. We want to serve the gaming uh, sector. And that's where uh, we will uh, try to sell this to them. And we are trying to have uh, types with uh, smart car companies, smart homes, and all there. Because okay. we can use gestures there. And sure. We want a device where which we can use everywhere. So nimble uh, touch and uh, tip is a ring which you can wear on your finger and you can do your daily task if you want to try. And you can do everything that you want to with gestures. We are trying that. Okay. So basically, uh, we were found with one year back, we came with file and we uh, were winner in these competitions and all. Okay. Our mission statement is again the same. We want to do things with gestures. That's it. We want to provide an experience <coughs> which can, um, which can show you, which can make you feel like you are interacting with computers and all in a real way. You're playing games or you're uh, listening a song and you want to change the volume and all and everything that you do with gestures. So that's what you want to. If you are driving a car and you are sitting at back and you want to turn, uh, you want to open the window. You just point at the window and do the gesture, and you should go down or go up. You are sitting on your couch and you want to turn off the light, so you do <coughs> it again then with your fingers and gesture. So that's what we are trying to do. Our main focus is again gaming. Uh, rest we will do through B2B channels. Uh, we won't uh, actually cater to the customer. <coughs> so uh, about the market, basically uh, Kinect has been in the market for very long. It's in the gaming business. It's uh, uh, actually uh, last year only a uh, uh, survey came that they have sold around 24 million pieces till now. So you can imagine that how big is the gaming market and it's 
<laughs> they basically cater the kids with their gesture device that they have because it's not that accurate, it's not uh, that precise when you play shooting games or anything else like that. So that's, uh, we can say that market for gesture is coming up. Uh, next big thing is after touch and everything. Gesture won't replace them, but at least it's <coughs> an, it's the next step. So, uh, so are all these three companies competition for you? You oh consider yeah. Prime Everyone Sense, Motion, and Flutter. Everyone is coming into the, well, these companies are basically uh, <coughs> uh, somewhere acquired or are working with Google. Prime, in Prime, Prime, Prime Sense is now uh, part of Apple. Uh, yeah, Prime Sense okay. is part of Apple. All these companies. But whatever they were doing before the acquisition, you count them as competition? I uh, know, not exactly, but are. The thing, uh, the technology we are using, it's different, uh, uh, way different from them. Uh, it's a way, uh, uh, yes, in they terms of target market and yeah. the, the user experience, similar things. Just uh, yeah. motions for better yeah. gaming exactly. experience, right? Yeah, there was Eat Motion also, uh, which came, uh, which uh, launched its Kickstarter campaign and all uh, two years back, and they uh, sold around six like pieces, uh, six like pre-orders they got. So. Uh, that's a kind of market there is for gesture now. Uh, it's a great device, but then again, you have to be in near the computer. Uh, its range is two, three feet, so, so it doesn't sorry, make sorry, sense. So we, we were investors in Prime Sense. Okay. Prime Sense is not two to three feet. Uh, no, no, I am talking about Leap Motion. No, so tell me, so what's the differentiation against the Prime Sense? Prime Sense, uh, the differentiation will be uh, the range we are providing. It's 15 feet. First Prime Sense goes beyond 15 feet. Okay. And then uh, the price we are. Uh, <coughs> what was the price? Eighty dollar. Eight zero. Eight zero. Yeah. Prices is much cheaper. Okay, so and and the reason it is cheaper is also because they go OEM embed, right? They don't sell direct to consumer. Okay. OEMs don't buy anything for eighty dollars, right? The laptop today costs three you know, hundred dollars. You can't put in anything which is eighty dollars in there. I basically didn't see their consumer product. They don't have a consumer product. Yeah, That's what I'm saying. But the reason why they have to bring down the prices to that extent is because you can't get to an OEM route for the $80 product. Right. Right. So they are order of magnitude a fourth of that price. Right. Actually, many companies are coming. Also so companies what's, your, what's your edge? Is what I <coughs> your notion oh, yeah. that 15 feet is a differentiator. That's not accurate. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, we what we are competing on is uh, first is accuracy, then no likes, then a, a better UI, then what which games we are uh, integrating with our uh, device is are the games uh, already uh, uh, which are already famous like uh, the Android games basically. And we are not making any changes to the games. So our we are just prime sense yeah. was that you have to custom design apps for touch. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Just okay, we are not. Uh, doing anything with the game. No, but then that means you're going to be subpar experience for the user, not better experience. Yeah, we will, it will be a better experience because you will play the games actually with these gestures. Like uh, tennis, if you are playing, if you have played in Android, you have to play it like this, Mother, you have to swipe, swipe through your uh, hands and all that. Oh, and uh, basically, when you are playing on a laptop, you just can't play it, Mother, properly. Tennis, if you want to play. So, there, that kind of game, if you want to play, it needs an accuracy. It needs some uh, setting. But I understand. So they did it. The learning was more from the market. From the market. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Just, just taking current apps and putting gesture on that. Okay. Just create compelling experience to drive sales. They have to have their own apps, stroke games. No. So they went to yes. app developers mm -hmm. and partnered with them so that app developers could build in those kind of experiences. Interesting. Uh, Incident Prime Sense, and I don't think this is confidential, but if you put a Prime Sense device there, at the back of the room, they can detect this. Wow. Okay. So, so what, 30 feet? So, uh, 20 feet, I think, whatever this. Yeah, 20 feet is, is what they explain, and they can detect this motion. <laughs> right? So, from an accuracy standpoint, I'm not sure. Maybe I am. I am and there is a trade off, right? <laughs> because you, so you still have a device on the hand. Oh, so yeah. there's a trade off of, you know, Prime Sense doesn't have the device in hand. Okay. I haven't used Prime Sense. So oh, so, okay, so Connect is Prime Sense. Oh, yeah, Connect. You don't use a controller, right? You don't have a controller in Connect. You don't have that. We use a controller. Huh? You're thinking Nintendo Wii. Nintendo Wii used okay, to have okay, a controller. Sorry, sorry. Connect does not have a controller. Yeah, then the commercial if you're product. Uh, using uh, Connect, uh, you can't play first person shooting games with Why that not? accuracy. Why? 
because uh, I have played games with it. Mother, you, you can't just said you haven't played properly. Play. You just said you haven't played with Kinect. Uh, Kinect and uh, uh, Nintendo Wii I have played. Nintendo Wii is five, six years old. My Nintendo Wii is six years old. That's not where technology is today. Uh, yeah, if, if, if by accuracy your notion is 15 feet of range, then that's not differentiated. I think you know one thing that I find differentiated again, eighty dollars too high a price point for that is you know the consumer route. Right? Other companies have taken an OEM route for scale. Right? Are so there applications we there? So we want to go for the consumer route. We but are there applications that should lend themselves better to the consumer route? Are there applications, class of applications that will be better addressed to direct to consumer? Oh uh, yeah. Like um, you are saying that apps will be um, the new apps. So no, like, you know, gaming is one class of applications, right? Your notion of controlling devices in my home is another class of applications. Do you think there is anything that in there, right? By going OEM, the advantage you get is you are on every computer that sells, right? You are on every Kinect box that sells. And so for gaming, it works very well because someone's buying a console, they already have this, you know, most of the games on Kinect, no, Kinect box now will come with the system. Right? But it's not clear to me if you wanted to go in the home, Right? Then who would be that box seller? No one owns the home box. Right? Maybe you know, someone there. But so I'm just thinking: Is there a class of applications for which the direct consumer route works better than OEM? Yeah, for consumer, for uh, that you talked about home automation or car automation or anything else that you will be doing, that will be through B2B channels. That will be different from our consumer version. Okay. Consumer version will offer uh, first of all the games, uh, all sorts of games, also sorts of Android games and some of them will be developed by us uh, and then uh, b uh, basic PC control and everything like that. Uh, the basic PC control so like... right now try to work on most of these free Android games is where you, your focus uh, is. Yeah. We are not changing anything with the game, we are just playing with the software and the games already available there like Fruit Ninja, like Ninja Man, course, all the famous games yeah, yeah. that we are providing with gestures. Right now we are doing that. So the and that it, this is launched. The product is launched, so you have to launch it. Actually, we are taking pre-orders. Okay. We are taking pre-orders for uh, next to next quarters. So How are you taking pre-orders? You have On, online. Online. Online through website. Yeah, we are. We will be starting our Kickstarter campaign. So then we will do proper PR and uh, campaigning and all that. But right now, to uh, no PR and uh, all every, uh, anything that has been done. So we have just received 200 orders. Okay. So now. And we have two, two, three B two B projects that we are working on. Um, are there other people uh, who do the consumer version, direct to consumer? Emotion, emotion came, but they had their own set of uh, apps and everything. They uh, devised it. But the, but the only thing wrong with the leap motion <coughs> is that uh, you have to be in the uh, two, two, three feet near your laptop. So it doesn't make sense. If you have to be that near your laptop, you can simply use mouse or simply use the touch screen. So uh, that's the major disadvantage. Overall, it is doing well. <coughs> so uh, sector we are focusing on, uh, as I talked about, gaming sector uh, that I already uh, talked about. Then uh, presentation sector. It's basically the ring will provide you this additional function also when you are. Uh, uh, playing with your PowerPoint or all, you can just uh, slide through them and all that. So it's, it will basically uh, give you basic basic functions for your computer and you can play games with gestures. And this would be $80, so let's oh, yeah. say if I have a, if I have everything else that is needed for a presentation, yeah. I can buy you, something You don't need to do anything, it will just, it will just work like a mouse basically. And can you do that without that, that ring device or? Uh, no. Okay, it has then accuracy will be an issue, so that's why it, be, uh, it tracks your finger, so basically where, where, it's in your control basically. Mm -hmm. so it uh, emits a uh, different range of signals from the ring that are captured by the camera. So, it's so I think uh, I've had a very important question, right? So it sounds like if you don't go to the OEM, then you're only addressing the retrofit market until the OEM, you know, start upgrading and making all of this anyway in the next couple of years, right? So eventually you'll have to do a B2B. Yeah, we are focusing on B2B, but uh, for right now because 
if we don't do consumer sector right now, we can't do it after two years because lots of companies are already coming in the market. So that's why we are our major focus right now is consumer. We are doing two B two B projects with smart cars. We have a tie with a uh, car company. We are doing, um, we are uh, providing them support with gestures. Sure. And then there are a few uh, uh, smart home companies that are working with us. Okay. There also we will provide gestures and support. Basically everything. Uh, you can control the UI of the TV with gestures. Then you can uh, change the channel and volume channel and with the gestures, simple gestures. Product description, as I told you, uh, uh, first we have a software that will do the noise reduction, uh, noise reduction and effect everything, and it will detect the motion. And then a uh, sensor which will detect the eye range that will be emitted from the rings. So um, this is the chart uh, for with our, our competitors, uh, like Kinect, Click Motion, and Neo. So those are the ranges and everything they provide. So what edge we have is, first of all, the price is the uh, For Kinect, if you will uh, have complete setup, it will cost you around 183 then uh, Neo uh, $149 and then uh, Leap Motion $80, it's uh, at par with our price, but then again uh, their range is 2 through 3 feet, so that's a disadvantage with them. You don't need to be anything uh, while using Leap, that's an advantage. Then uh, field of view, it will be 90 degree, then multiple users can do it. Uh, that's the fun part also. That's how you, that's also when we provide it. Uh, almost uh, five, six, eight, ten people can play with number. Uh, the game should be according to it. Or and then you can play uh, each of the member can uh, be at the ring and play the game. Pricing uh, then again eighty dollars. It's uh, good enough to uh, tap the market as we already did, but uh, their product didn't receive uh, didn't receive uh, good response afterwards. So the challenges we are facing is uh, we are working on our app stores uh, right now. So we are integrating with the present uh, applications that are already available and integrating with them. Entry barrier again price ease of use. Accuracy, no legs, and multiple users. Then again, for strategic alliances, uh, there are many companies like Oculus Rift. It uh, is a VR headset company. It has uh, raised a lot right now. And uh, they are basically exploring in the areas of controllers. They want just a controllers for their devices. So it's a big company, business. Uh, it can be a big strategic alliance, and we are working on that. And they are very smart TV companies. We are also trying to have integration with them. And few Indian companies also like Micromax and we are in um, on talks with them. Then home automation. Home automation companies, few of them are from Bengals. We are in talk with them. Um, we will be finalizing our product in the next two, three months with them. In the home aut automation space, yeah. because that's a huge space. Right, oh, yeah, it's a huge space. So basically, uh, we are not catering directly to customers. They wanted few gestures control for uh, their already available uh, uh, components and all that automation devices, like the sound of music. So uh, they are our partners, they are working with us, but they are, uh, but they are in talk with them. So you are in conversations with a lot of people, but is there a financial plan somewhere we can see since we are out of time, I just saw, okay, can we look at uh, oh. what's your focus area? I guess gaming is where you are yeah. and then directly For consumer sector, uh, we will go for gaming. Mm -hmm. Consumer sector uh, just came in, that's it, nothing else. And then uh, for uh, other sectors like smart TV uh, or uh, smart cars and smart homes and everything else, uh, we are, will uh, go for B2B collaborations. Uh, for financials, I don't have to But uh, planning for uh, uh, next six months, then first of all, so we will be uh, launching our Kickstarter campaign. Yeah. And we uh, want at least 20,000 pre-orders from the What's the manufacturing cost? Uh, manufacturing cost, uh, right now, so we are um, uh, importing uh, uh, components from China and, uh, and, and, uh, and compiling them here. 
and uh, but and uh, getting the 3D printed devices. What Overall manufacturing cost will be uh, around 1800. That is 30 dollars. Yeah, then we will be uh, shipping around no, 1800. Uh, 1800. Yeah, 30 dollars, right? Yeah. And you are selling it at 80. Yeah, we are selling it at 80 because of uh, lots of other things. Uh, like uh, we will be spending uh, lots of things on iPating and all that, right? So audio controls or everything like AC we control. Mother, they have asked you uh, demands. They have like they want to control the audio controls, then AC control, then the uh, windshield control, and uh, these are the few things they want. So we are working on this, and it will be in the next two months. And then the deal with them would be you would license your technology to them. Uh, we are uh, actually for them because we can't have a sensor in the car. So we are uh, separately working with them on uh, it as a project, and when it will be done, it will be uh, the, uh, for two years. We will both have uh, rights to it, and then uh, whoever uh, departs uh, will pay the uh, royalty or something like that. For two years, we will have the partnership. Oh, so you're doing joint development. Oh yeah. It's not a customer uh, and a. Uh, no, we are not doing. Uh, we are not catering them as a client. They, we are doing as a joint development for two years. Whatever the de uh, development part, then sales part, then sales service part, everything will be managed. So uh, that's in the pipeline, and then the Kickstarter campaign we want sales of around 20,000. So break even. Uh, we uh, want to ship in uh, next, uh, with the last quarter, with uh, with the final product. So break even. If we uh, receive a good number of uh, products from there, at least uh, five to ten thousand products. If uh, we get the pro pre order, then with our B2B projects, we will be. So, are you raising any money? Do you need uh, yeah, any money for investment? We, uh, we, mm -hmm. we are almost closing our first angel round. So How big is the round? Uh, 4 million rupees. 40 so, lakh rupees. Uh, yeah, 40 <coughs> lakh rupees. It's almost done, almost closing. Okay. So, after that, we will be looking at bigger rounds. So, next thing is our Kickstarter campaign. Yeah. If it's successful, then I guess. Um, Okay. Yes, I mean the, the question <coughs> is that you still need the, the ring and yeah. maybe one of the reasons why the others may or may not be as accurate is because they don't have that, that additional yeah, requirement. Right? Yeah. So then is your use case much more limited where somebody is happy to kind of wear that ring to play a game. I probably don't want to sit at home the whole yeah, day wearing the ring will make it, uh, just in case I may need to change the, the volume on my TV. Oh yeah, yeah, right. Uh, that's an issue, and that when we will have the final product, we will.